Welcome to the Customs University YouTube lessons. First of all, we like to thank the Customs E University for granting the permission for these videos. And we also we like to thank the sponsors to make this possible. In international trade, a trader from one country sell goods to another trader or a person in another country. As a passenger, you would have traveled across countries carrying goods. Therefore, the entire course we will be concentrating only about movements of goods and not movement of people. Customs. Customs anywhere in the world has only two jobs. That's taxation and control. Any other jobs are supplementary. It can be border control or border protection or social protection. When we talk about goods, firstly, goods have to be identified with a description and it has to be classified for the purpose of taxation and control as we said just before. Thereafter, in the second step, it can be valued for taxation. Customs classification is used for the purpose of taxation, control, transport, monitoring, rules of origin and statistical purposes. To have a common system all over the world, World Customs Organization, the parental body of Customs Administration, sponsored an international convention called Harmonized System Convention. This brought Harmonized Commodity Description and Coding System or Harmonized System or simply HS. Now more than 200 countries and territories all over the world follow harmonized system. 98% of the world trade is now conducted with the HS codes. HS works with codes, numeric codes. Previous to HS, we had systems called alphabetical index, Brussels tariff nomenclature, BTN, which is renamed, which was renamed as Customs Corporation Council number, sorry, CCCN. Now we have come to HS since 1988, that is 33 years ago. HS is a six digit code which group the goods which you see or trade all over the world, but not to have a one to one, one item, one code. No. It's a grouping system. As a practitioner, you have seen these codes in your work already. These grouping systems work with two basic pillars. First, all goods are arranged in a tree diagram from trunks to leaves up through various branches, big branch and small branch. Like that, HS also moves from sections, chapters, subchapters, headings, subheadings until you find a six digit code at the tail end of the line. The same way from the trunk it goes up to the leaves or the flowers of the end of the line. The second pillar is the classification of under HS works with legal notes and six interpretative rules. They are called GIRs, General Interpretative Rules. There are 21 sections, 99 chapters are in HS. As per 2017 vers version, what we use at present, there are 5,387 six-digit HS codes, which move chronologically from basic raw product to complicated manufacturing items. HS is updated nowadays every five to six years. Sometimes back it was every four years. The seventh version, the new HS 2022 is coming from 1st January 2022, just in five months time. And it makes major changes to the harmonized system with total of 351 sets of amendment covering wide range of goods moving 
across borders. Once an appropriate HS code is found for a particular item you wish to classify, locally we have to move further to classify if the item is important for that country which classifying the goods. So there will be beyond HS code, there will be a national tariff code going one step or two step further than the HS code which we talked about six digit code. So we said that it is a grouping system and it's a coding system. And we said in general all over the world it works up to six digit. And we said that individual countries have their own purpose, they will move further. They will move further up to eight digit or ten digit. Sri Lanka has moved up to eight digit. Now take France and Germany, they have gone up to eleven digits. So depend on the countries, it goes up to some further extent for them to identify what they are interested in. Let's look at a teaser about HS 2022 which is going to come in five months time in January. Microbial fats getting identified under HS 1517 along with margarine. E-waste getting identified. The word lamp which we use for decades is gone, almost gone. A few places it is still kept. We are going to get replaced, the lamp word replaced by luminea. That is the word we are going to use hereafter in the HS system. Smartphones, solar water heaters, the worst is coffins also going to be identified with a special HS code. Industrial robots, LED chandeliers are going to be identified in the HS code itself. In Sri Lankan tariff, it was not available. Therefore, Sri Lankan tariff had a national tariff heading for LED chandeliers. Now, hereafter, that will be handled by a six-digit HS code itself worldwide. Take sanitary napkins and towels were used under 96 for babies only. Now, it is expanded to cover adult napkins and towels. Bars and goods getting new legal notes. Say vaccines for humans and veterinary are going to be in one group. High speed TV cameras and digital cameras are getting special HS codes. Unmanned aircrafts, UAVs are going to get new HS codes. Of course, they are careful in identifying or differentiating the toys. Now like that, there are 351 amendments, mostly textual, you will see, so you need not to worry, is going to be changing the present system we use as HS 2017 version. At this very early stage, a very important point, an answer to a very popular question, we will see. A special customs law amendment only for this matter was passed recently. Recently in, in the sense a few years early. Now the customs law has identified certain disputes in customs and unfortunately some customs officers still think they are offences to be punished. Classification is one of the dispute now identified with a dispute resolution mechanism. A system is now listed in the law itself. We will study the classification law after we finish harmonized system. Until then, remember this now. If your classification on a cast deck or a customs entry, as it officially called, is wrong, then it is a dispute by law, not an offence. Only one exception, if you are knowingly 
intentionally misdescribe the goods, then the classification will become a problem which may lead to an offence. This particular matter has been confirmed by several judgments, starting from the Toyota Lanka, the famous Supreme Court judgment by the Honorable Chief Justice. And there are following up judgments in the Court of Epi. Now, with that, we will conclude today's session and we will see a different subject on our next video, most probably how to give or record statements at customs if you are called as a witness or a suspect in a customs case. Let's meet in the next lecture. Thank you.